Welcome to episode 90, that's nine zero of the Clarity Compressed Podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly, and I will be your host. And today we are talking branding and personal brand and brand evangelism and what it's like to be one of the initial Apple employees and work directly for Steve Jobs with the one and only Guy Kawasaki. Clarity can only really exist in the light of truth. Branding just isn't a tactic. It's a lifestyle change. Okay, the moment of clarity today actually is the result of a song I've been listening to called The Hype by one of my favorite bands, 21 Pilots, a lot lately. So the moment of clarity is, are you believing the hype? It's the question. I was about to go speak at an event the other week, and before I went out, I was listening to the song, and it reminded me that like the hype on the good side, oh, you did a good job, you're doing a really good job. Or on the bad side, which is you didn't do a good job, and I don't care what you're saying, If you pay too much attention to the hype on either one of those sides, it's going to mess up your actual insight, who you actually are. Don't believe the hype. It'll allow you to focus on the next steps and make sure they're the right steps and the steps that you want to take and the life and the person that you want to be and know you should be. So that's the moment of clarity today. Don't believe the hype. I'm so excited for what he's going to show me. Hurry up and show me Paul's pick. What's up, Clarity Compressed Podcast? I'm hijacking Paul's pick this week because I want to tell you about the Brand is Gravity workshop we're about to launch. I always hear companies and talk to executives and marketing managers and sole proprietors that um, don't know what to do next when it comes to brand development or company culture. And frankly, our agency is expensive to work with and there's only so much of my time to go around. I wanted to create something so that more of you could engage with me and could engage with my agency. So we developed the Brand is Gravity workshop. It is a digital workshop that we shot. We made it fun and engaging to teach you about brand, to teach you how to integrate brand in your in the life of your business or if you're a personal brand or if you're a sole proprietor and you need to work on your business and not in it or if you're a marketing manager and you have a hard time getting your ideas, progressive ideas sold to the executive management. This workshop is designed for you. But again, it's coming out brandisgravity.com. It's a workshop that I think will really bring value to you and is really a result of all the things I hear across the country on a regular basis. Yes, you heard me right. Today, I get to release an interview that I I, uh, had about two weeks ago with the one and only Guy Kawasaki. And if you've ever heard the term brand evangelist, well, guess what? Guy is the one that came up with that term. But my perception of him is that he's someone who doesn't kind of read his own press, believe his own hype. And I think you'll pick up the vibe in the interview. And this is a man who has really run the Silicon Valley gamut. And also, I would say the the modern communication, modern branding and marketing gamut. Um, I hope you enjoy this interview with the one and the only Guy Kawasaki. I would love for you to start with, and because the story is so important. Yes. Um, I saw a keynote that who you did. Who the hell am I? Yeah. Who the hell are you? I'm yeah. not, not a financial guy. I, I, want, I want that for the people who don't know who you are. So uh, my name is Guy Kawasaki. I'm the, currently the chief evangelist of Canva online graphics design service out of Sydney, Australia, Mercedes-Benz brand ambassador. <sighs> In my checkered past, I was Apple's evangelist and then chief evangelist. I've started a handful of companies. I've written 15 books. I give a lot of speeches. I'm like small, man. I'm everywhere. Just moving. So, yeah. So mostly people know me for my work at Apple, my work at Canva, my sales and marketing you know, expertise. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get into that for okay. sure. Um, so today, talking about some of the things that you spoke about today at the conference, this element of enchantment yes. in the customer experience or for any business that is trying to win customers. You it, you gave a great story about Richard Branson yes. and how you became a virgin, um, how you became a virgin customer. How I became a virgin? You don't yeah. become a virgin, that, you lose your virginity. But so I was in Russia and he was there at the same event and he asked me if I flew on Virgin. And I said, no, I only fly United. And he got that on his knees and started polishing my shoes. With his jacket. And so that's why I fly Virgin now. And so that became an illustration that you use today. Yes. It was of being likable and humble and doing whatever it takes. 
Um, There's an interesting thing that you brought up. You said being likable isn't the same as being trustworthy. Yes. Is that was that yeah. what it was? I mean, you can like a celebrity. Right. right. You said Charlie Sheen, right? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm not leaving my kids with him, right? <laughs> I would. <laughs> <laughs> but we we've talked before on the show about you know car dealer advertising sometimes can get very top of mind oriented, and so much so that we have dealers that make themselves a local celebrity. Like, yes. oh, he's, yes, he's, yes, yes. he's a nice guy. I like him, right? If, if we're in the restaurant, I'm going to be looking. Yeah. Maybe I want a selfie. Does it work? But that doesn't mean you trust that him. I trust him or that I want to buy a car from him. But I, I don't know. You know, I don't know if, well, maybe that works. Maybe, you know, they now know that it's, you know, Cal Huffington. And you go what to do the they Cal really Huffington know? dealers. What I do don't, they really I don't know. That he sells maybe, cars. Well, so <laughs> one way of looking at it is, it can't possibly work. Or in other words, you know, if he's been doing it for 20 years and he owns 10 dealerships. Try and telling him it doesn't yeah, work. Yeah, right? he's worth 100 million bucks. So who the hell are we, man? Yeah. I mean, like, come on down. Guy Kawasaki, Honda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let the good times roll. Guy Kawasaki, Honda. That's really funny, especially yeah, okay. if you're a motorcycle yeah, dealer. no kidding. <laughs> so, but when you build a brand, right, and you talk about brand building, your mm -hmm. brand ambassador, you evangelist for brand, which is a term that, um, probably people don't sling around too lightly, but probably brand evangelist. There's probably an element of like not really knowing what that means. And that's probably ends up being really good it's for good, you. Yeah. Um, well, there you, was Jesus before me, but yeah, it was the brand. It was kind of, he was the brand. I yeah, think well, it was 2000 year gap. But yeah. <laughs> so what is, what is your perspective of a brand evangelist and what, what that should mean? For me, um, you know, first of all, I think a lot of people are trying to create a personal brand. Mm hmm I think that's total bullshit. Why? That well, when you get it in your mind that you want to create a personal brand, it means you're going down the path of like narcissism. And I, I don't, I don't know Elon Musk, but I, you know, I sort of knew Steve Jobs. I don't know if I was in his inner circle, but I don't think that Elon Musk or Steve Jobs ever, ever sits down and said how do I make the Steve Jobs brand? Right. You know, I refuse to believe that conversation. He was just Steve Jobs Yeah, he was every just day. Steve Jobs, and his brand was his brand. Mm -hmm. And so these people who say, oh, I'm going to work on my personal brand. I'm going to make myself a thought leader, a guru, you know, that I'm going to write a book to position myself. I'm going to make speech, you know, all that. That is all total what? <laughs> Did I say the wrong thing? No, no, oh. I'm just laughing because oh. everyone that knows this podcast oh. knows that I'm building a personal brand oh. and I just wrote a book. Okay, well, no, uh, I, I appreciate shit, then. No, um, <laughs> no you're not, you're I'm not. Saying, <laughs> I appreciate the conversation. Uh, I'm saying that, you know, personal brand is a result of what you do in your real job. It's you, who you really are. Yes, as opposed to this is the thing I'm going to manufacture. So I, I can tell you, I don't really spend a lot of time thinking about my personal brand. I just am what I am. Yep. You may not like what I stand for, but mm -hmm. it's not because I'm crafting like, oh, you know, I'm going to position. This is good for the brand. Is this slightly, bad for yeah. me? No, I, I agree with that. And no, that mean, doesn't mean that I, I say, okay, you know, I'm just going to be a bad guy, right? I'm, but, cog I'm cognizant of the example that I set for my kids and for, you know, God knows who might be influenced by what mm -hmm. I do. But I'm not thinking, oh, I want to position myself as a thought leader. Well, thank you so much for You're giving welcome. us some of your time today welcome, and I, may it come back to you tenfold. I, yeah. A <laughs> I never thought of that, but thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And may you, uh, may you dent the universe. I'm going to try. All right. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> That's it for this week. That's it for episode 90. Um, I hope you have an amazing week. I hope this somehow inspired you, got you thinking outside the box a little bit so that you can do what it is that you're doing better and more uh, with more innovation. Wearing my special innovation is a choice shirt today and that you can keep moving forward doing that. Speaking of innovation, I mentioned this in the beginning of the show, but I'm excited to be launching our very first ever digital workshop. If I've brought you any value ever over the podcast history, the content I put out, it would mean the world to me if you check it out and uh, sign up to be first to know. So until then, see you next week. Yeah. Yeah.